morning, good evening, whatever time it is for you and you watch Spotlight. Thank you for giving us a chance, you know, for this. I have another little thing we do. It's one minute, you know. This is five or six minutes, but thank you for taking a little time. But it's not 30, 40 minutes. It's not an hour. It's not a whole series. It's these little spotlights. We're doing a series on new. We've been talking about the old has gone. We've talked about some things. Let me try something a little different today. today. When we do the new year, we usually think of, I, I'm going to do some things better. We call them resolutions, promises, whatever. Maybe you write them down. Maybe you tell somebody. Maybe you just kind of have this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in shape. You know, I've got to get this under control. Get that last 10 pounds off. Me too. More. And I'm going to walk more, and I'm going to eat less, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this this time. I'm going to read the Bible through. I'm going to do this. I'm going to clean up the house. I'm going to clean up the clutter. I'm going to. I'm going to be nicer to my kids, nicer to my husband or wife. I'm going to do better. And then comes the day when you're not doing those things, and you're not on top of your game, and, and you slip back to old patterns and old ruts. And say, oh, back to the same old stuff. And I got a line that helped me years ago. It was from Neil Clark Warren. He's the one uh, who did eHarmony, and he wrote some great books on finding, what, finding the love of your life, I think, and some other books. Neil Clark Warren. And he says to couples, young couples, couples, couples in trouble, you don't have to try to get perfect. You don't have to promise to do all things, get it right overnight. Just get 10% better at this year. So can we do that? We can do that. Ten percent better. I watch the sports teams after they mess up. Maybe they lose a big lead and uh, oh, they're they're hurting. They come to the locker room and people ask them questions and and they say something like, you know, we just we're gonna go back and we'll watch the game tape and we're just gonna get better. They're not trying to all of a sudden be the best in the world. That'd be wonderful. They're not trying to say, be number one tonight. But can we get better? you got 82 games to get better, to get into the playoffs, to get where you want to be. Just get better. 10% better. I think God would bless that. But if you thought about what 10% better means, well, if you think of us get 10% better, okay, 10% times uh, 10 years, I'd be 100% better. I would be twice as good as I am now. Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that be pretty good? That'd be fantastic. Twice as good. I'm, I'm okay now. I'd be twice as good as this. But it's better than that. Because of what we call compound interest. So if you're this this year, and then you're 10% better, now you're 110. But next year, you're going to be 10% of 110. So now you're going to be more. You add that to the 110 you already had. Now you're at what? 2, 3, 21, whatever it is. And gradually that little extra kicks in, kicks in year after year. In 10 years, you're more than 100% better. You're more than doubled. But if you keep doing 10% every year until you're 30 years and 40 years, you are thousands of times better. You're magnificent. That's what C.S. Lewis says in uh, Weight of Glory. He said, Everyone around you is a potential god or goddess, or they could be a terrible ogre, a demoniac. Everyone around us has the potential to go each direction, but someday we will be amazing people, 10% better every year. Can you do that? By the grace of God, we have God. Read some books. Just say, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get 10% better physically fit. I'm going to do better on my diet. I'm going to kind of take that out. No more sodas now. Let's just stop that. Okay, 10% better. That doesn't mean you have to change everything right now today. 10% better. Can we be kinder to people 10% more of the time? Could we do that? Could we give when Red Cross calls and asks something for a disaster? Could we give 10% more? Could we... Open the door for people 10% more. We can do these things. And we don't put pressure on ourselves to be perfect overnight. 
10% of their life. And watch God make magic out of that. And someday, someday, we will live the best lives. Jesus changed the water to wine, and he said, you have saved the best for last. If Jesus continues to change the water to wine for us, 10% better. We buy some books, we read some things, we get a little better. We learn some time management skills. We buy, get a little gym. We get a little workout machine. You, you buy a gym membership. You say, okay, I'm going to walk every day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a book a week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something to be a better person, to take this one life that I have from God and get the most out of it that I can possibly have to make the most difference. I'm trying to do that with my foundation right here where we're taping things, 10% better this new year for the glory of God and look back next year with no regrets. Spotlight. Thank you for watching Spotlight. We're so excited about this. We hope that you'll subscribe and so you'll get all of them. And please just forward it on to others and tell other people about it. And let's just see what kind of an audience we can get for these messages of Spotlight. God bless you.